how to use condition formatting in Excel to highlight values whenever you change a criteria, for example. We can just highlight one single cell, or we can just highlight the entire row uh, by the value, for example, if it's less than something or greater than something, we can highlight the entire row, or we can even just, instead of using values, numbers, greater than, less than, we can use actually text, okay? so. We can use multiple criteria, uh, for example, to do OK in progress, and whenever the criteria are met, the entire row is highlighted for us. So let me delete it, all the criteria and look what's happened. The condition format is done. However, let's take a look and let's learn step by step from scratch. How can you do these three different types of condition formatting here in Excel with this three practical example? How can you use condition format to just highlight one single cell, base it on their name? And how can you use to highlight the entire row, base it on, for example, the value, if it's greater than or lower or less than something? And the last example, but not least important, how can we highlight the entire row, not based on the value, not based on a number, but based on a criteria that is a text? If the text, if this criteria, are met, the entire row is going to be highlighted for us. So let's start here with this first example, where whenever I change here the criteria name, so the city name, Austin, Dallas, Austin, and San Antonio, for example, the condition format is going to highlight for me exactly the same values in the column, in the C column. To make it, let me first click here in the Home tab, Condition Format, Clear Rules, clear rules for the entire sheet. Okay, now we can create it from scratch. The first important thing is to just uh, understand what you have in your data set. Here I have basically a report about my sales. So I have here data, uh, salesperson, client name, city, sales, and status. Of course, I can really do a highlight in all the rows that I have, in all the cells, all the columns, but I'm gonna choose the column D, the city, to make my condition formatting. And then we can do it with these other examples with another column. So however, let's start here with the column D, the city. So whenever I just change here my criteria to Austin, Dallas, Austin, San Antonio, for example, I wanted the column D to highlight for me the exactly the same value that I just use as my criteria. Of course, I can do the condition format instead of just, uh, let's say, type here the value or select the value, I can type it in inside the condition format. So, of course, I don't need to use this specific column here. I can delete it, for example. I don't need to use it. However, I'm going to use it to make it dynamic. So, whenever I change here, the condition format is going to change for me. So, this is why the reason I let it here in the, in the right side of my my data set, okay, to make it dynamic. So let's start here with select all the range where we can apply the condition format, or even let me just click here in the first cell. We can change the range after we do these steps. So let me just click here in the home tab, and here run uh, condition formatting. I can move to here, new room, and we can create it from scratch our condition format. We have here many options to choose, but I go with this last option here, use a formula to determine which cells to format. So let me just start here with the equal sign, equal. So whenever this cell right here is, let's say, equal to this cell right here, I want it to be blue or to be red or to be greenish, you, you name it. So this is already done, the formula that we're gonna use here. However, one little change that we need to do, instead of just using this $2 sign to froze, to froze the column and to froze the row, I only want to froze to lock the column, okay? So this dollar sign before the number, I'm gonna read off it. So let me just delete it, because I don't want to lock the reference of the row. I want the row to be in all the data set that I have, so I can't lock it. The only thing I can lock it is the column, because it's only gonna be the column D, that is my range of my, that I'm gonna apply my condition format, okay? Now let me just click here in Format, and now I'm gonna choose a color, so let's say 
I want to paint it with this dark blue here and in the font I want to use a bold one and a white one let me just click OK, OK again and why it's not working, let's see let me just click here in home again, condition formatting manage rules now, the last option and instead of just using here current selection I'm gonna use this worksheet and OK this is why it's not gonna it's not working because apply to is just in selecting the first cell that I have here and not the entire range of the column D or even the entire column D so I need to change this last option here apply to I can select the entire column D or even just the range that I have so let me just delete it click here in this up arrow and then I'm gonna select the entire column D or even I can just select the range manually but I'm gonna click here in the column D click in this down arrow and okay I'm gonna click here in apply okay again and whenever the criteria that I have here the condition is met the condition format is gonna highlight for me the same exactly the same value so let me change here Dallas to let's say uh, Austin for example click okay we done the condition format is working so let's move on now to the second example where I need to paint it not just one single cell however I need to paint it the entire row or even we can use it to paint let's say the entire column for example the only thing that I'm gonna change it is the range is to is the last option applies to applies to the entire row for example not just one single cell but the entire row so here let me delete it all the condition format that I already done here clear rules for entire sheet okay now my criteria is the sales column so whenever I change here the criteria so let's say I want to highlight the values in, in red every time the the value of the sales is less than 200 for example however I can change this value and so this is why I just let it to the right of my data set because I can make it dynamic and whenever the value is let's say greater than 400 I need to paint it with green or the color I want you don't need to use the same colors as I'm using here so let me select all the values that I'm gonna use here all the range okay I don't need to select the titles the headers of my data set because I'm gonna I not use it in the condition formatting okay to the end now I can move on to the top of the spreadsheet now we're gonna click here in the home tab and here to the right condition formatting and new rule for example now again I'm gonna select this last option use a formula etc and here in the in this empty bar I'm gonna use equal sign and whenever my sales whenever my sales in this first in this first example is less than 200 I need to paint it I need to highlight it in red okay so oh do not forget to just read off this dollar sign before the, the number okay so whenever this reference the value that I just selected the cell A2 is less than 200 let's say or even instead of just typing 200 to make it dynamic I can select the reference of the cell right here okay the criteria that I have so whenever the cell the sales is less than 200 I need to paint it uh, red however instead of just using less than you can also use less than or equal to so you, you can use this to sign here okay less than or equal to however let's make it just a less than option let me just click here in format and here I can just choose a let's say a bold italic color red and that's it I will not painted the cell itself the background okay okay again and yeah it's working whenever now the value is lower is less than 200 it's gonna be red but not the, just the single cell the, the value specifically the value all the entire rows that match with my criteria is gonna be painted in red not the cell itself however the text that I have and I can change of course so all the values that are less than let's say a thousand for example enter are gonna be red so every 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 whole row here now is, is red because all the values that I have is less than a thousand 
Let me just come back here to 200. And now I want to paint it all the values that are greater than 400, for example. So let me select everyone here, all the values that make up my data set. Okay, home tab, condition format, manage rules. And here in the rules manager, I can just click here, new rule, use a formula as we just saw before. And format values here, equal sign. Whenever my sales is now, just read off this dollar sign before the number, is greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to 400, let's say, I want to paint it with a green color in the background of the cell. And of course, I want to use a bold format for the text and a light green color, or let's say, no, I'm gonna stick with this automatic. Okay, okay, and apply, okay, again. Look, now whenever the value is greater than 400, it's gonna be painted with green and whenever the value is less than 200 it's gonna paint the entire row with this red color in the text and uh, as i just said before it's dynamic so i can change the value let's say 300 enter and it's gonna appear for me on new highlights whenever i change here the criteria let's move on now to the last and not least important radical example instead of using values you're gonna use text string so Instead of just using the sales column, where I have values, numbers, I can use my last column, the status. And here I have one, two, three different criteria to use, different condition. So whenever my criteria is equal to, is to do, for example, I need the entire row to be painted with this, this head. And whenever my status is equal to this criteria here, that I, okay, I need to, the entire row be painted with this greenish color, okay? To make it, it's very simple, we just saw before how to use condition formatting, so I, I hope this is starting to get a little bit more easy to do. Let's just uh, select everyone here that I have my data set. Okay, all the values, click here in the home tab, condition formatting, and the first thing you're gonna do is just to clear the rules for this entire sheet, okay. Home tab again, condition format, new rule. And here I'm going to select the last option, like we did before many, many times. And here in the, this formula bar, I'm going to just click here in this upper arrow. And whenever my status here is equal to, equal to, okay, equal to, to do, for example, I want it to be painted with head. And do not forget to read off this dollar sign before this first number that we have. Click here in this down arrow, format. And they're gonna change the fill, for example, to a reddish color or a orange one, okay? Orangish. Okay, again. And yeah, whenever this first criteria here is met, my entire data set is gonna be updated for me, just highlighting the entire row that met with this criteria here. And we don't need to use, to be honest with you guys, all these three cells here to make the criteria. I can just use this first one here. Because if I just change here the name, so let's say OK, enter, my condition format is going to update for me. I can just type it in, in progress, for example, in progress, enter, and my condition format one more time is going to update for me and highlight just the values that met with this criteria here. So this is why it's very important, instead of using the criteria inside the condition format formula itself, we can use it just in the cell uh, itself, because that way you can make it the condition format dynamic. Whenever you change the value of the cell, your entire spreadsheet or your entire data set is gonna be updated for you, and you're gonna see the highlight in the specific values. So this is why it's important to use the criteria, the condition in a specific cell to make it dynamic, instead of just using it inside within the condition format formula, okay? Let's make it one more time for the two more two more times, okay, just for the OK and for the in-progress criteria. Let me select everyone here, clicking Home tab, Condition Format, New Rule, and here using this last option. And for the formula, as you guys just saw before, I can select this last option here. And whenever this last option is equal to OK, for example, 
and do not forget to read off this dollar sign before the, the first number that we have. I want to paint it with a green color, a green wish one, okay? Okay again. Now one more time to just finish. Condition format, new rule, last option, click here in this up arrow. And whenever this cell right here is equal to in progress, for example, bit off this annoying dollar sign before the number, click here in format, I want to paint it with this yellow color, okay again? And yeah, we're done. Whenever now my criteria, my these three criteria that I have are met, my entire data set is gonna be updated for me and it's gonna be and I'm gonna get a highlight just in the specific row in the specific criteria that we met, okay? So I hope this video can help you out with these three different and practical ways to use condition format just in one single cell based on their name and how to use condition format based on their value if it's less than or greater than and how to use condition format to paint the entire row based on their name again but now using multiple criteria. So I hope this video can help you out and if you have any questions just comment down below and I see you in the next video. Every day has a new video so I see you tomorrow.